My name is uh, Dave Conlin. I'm the Capital Power Project Manager for the Keep Hills 3 Power Project. Uh, this is a 495 megawatt supercritical pressure technology co-fired plant uh, at, uh, uh, located at the Keep Hills site um, west of Edmonton. We uh, started this, uh, the engineering on this facility uh, early in 2006 and uh, here we are just over five years later with a uh, fully operating facility, operating at full load, just going through its final commissioning tests and uh, soon to be uh, commercially operation on the grid. Uh, the supercritical technology that we're using is uh, from Japan. It, uh, it's uh, very efficient, it's, uh, it's 15 to 17 percent more efficient than the older technology that it's replacing. Uh, therefore, obviously, uh, as far as environmental is concerned and the amount of coal that's burning, it's, uh, it's much better than uh, the older units. Uh, on the back end of this plant, we have the latest uh, available technology for uh, cleaning the flue gas, which means that our particulate emissions are, are very good, are very low, and our, our SO2 sulfur dioxide emissions are, are the lowest uh, allowed in Alberta. Um, and we also have a mercury capture technology employed on this unit where we're, we're um, removing about 80% of the mercury from the fuel that goes, would normally exit in the flue gas and that's been taken out uh, with carbon act activated carbon um, technology uh, and removed through the fly ash system. On the uh, cooling side of the plant, uh, typically in Alberta, the coal fire plants have used cooling ponds this facility used a cooling tower and this tower actually is uh, one of the two largest cooling towers in Canada. So, so th this unit will generate uh, 450 megawatts of power to the Alberta grid and that's roughly 5% of the total uh, megawatts required at the peak times in Alberta during the winter and summer. So it's a very significant addition to the Alberta grid in terms of being able to provide good um, uh, low-cost power uh, to, uh, to Albertans. 